A very warm welcome to this edition of KTN Live at One. It's Sunday, the 23rd of September 2012, and I'm Betty Kialo. Now, teachers must trust the government if a deal is to be reached on their contentious wages. This is Vice President Kalonzo Musioka's message to the Kenya National Union of Teachers, which has intensified its nationwide strike after rejecting the government's deal yesterday. Here's KTN's Ashimulu with the details. With talks between the government and the striking teachers hitting a dead end, Vice President Kalonzo Musioka has moved in asking for sobriety from the Kenya National Union of Teachers. Kalonzo, who joined the Akorino Church in their Sunday prayers at the KICC, said that teachers need to understand the dilemma that the government is facing in terms of funding. And I can understand at a time when there's a strike, people work out emotions. Yeah? As I, I discussed with the uh, primary school heads in Mombasa that time. Of course, it wasn't also right that a, 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 a primary school head teacher is, is stripped naked in front of the public. And, and you could see because of the high emotions. So that time I said, let there be calmness because all of us would want our children to go back to school. According to the vice president, the teachers demand for a one-phase implementation of the 13.5 billion shilling deal is unattainable. The VP argues that Treasury has given the striking teachers a good deal by offering a three-phase payment, which he says will not strain the national budget. This is their government. They have to trust the government because uh, uh, it was the same government that actually implemented the three phases, if you remember. And if government says we shall do this, government will honor its obligations. The unrelenting teachers union rejected the government's deal on Saturday, daring the Ministry of Education to make good its threat of sacking all teachers on industrial action and replacing them with fresh graduates. The strike which has entered its fourth week has sent Kenyans on edge with candidates sitting their national examinations at the end of the year, seeking alternatives as they intensify their revision. Asham Wilu, KTN, Live at One.